it's now 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, the heat's starting to pick up quite rapidly and uh, there's a hive of activity around our farm at the moment because we've had a uh, three or four heavy downpours the uh, cassava farmers who had lost all their cassava that they planted the other month because of the drought um, they're now replanting so uh, they won't be making much money this year pay for planting it twice and play for, pay for two lots of plants but they're busy beavering away they've got no choice they've got to carry on and uh, our bamboos just at the bottom of the farm here if I see anyone eating bamboo they're gonna get a slap aren't they hmm. <laughs> yeah sweet ride Nearly there. Success. Check it out. Nothing there two weeks ago. Or well, probably a week ago. I bet we can find some bigger ones than that. It's a beauty. Yeah. So we're not going to be cutting any of these unless they're growing in a position that we don't want them to be in. But this is the sort of size people like to uh, come along and cut and eat. And uh, now we're living here, it's an absolute no-no. Before we moved here, we had a load of wild bamboo growing and people used to help themselves. It's quite common in Thailand. Uh, but no, not now, this is a natural crop that we're uh, looking to sell in the near future. So, mid-eye. It's looking good. They're gonna go crazy, I did say a few a fair few weeks back once the rains come and the roots start to absorb all the goodness from the uh, poultry muck that we've put in here now the roots are established they're going to really kick on and they, they are nearly every plant's getting new shoots so you can see one two three that's less than two weeks excellent See these smaller ones are the ones that we replaced. They're picking up nicely now. Look at that. Nearly got our canopy. Well, none stolen so far. Still a bit small for people to steal though. This one one. Now Toon and I do really, really enjoy eating bamboo. A lot of people knock it, but it's so versatile. This one look yummy. <laughs> mm. so we might treat ourselves to to one or two. Just to just to make sure that they taste alright. Yeah, you're not allowed. Not allowed. Oh, that needs digging out, that weed. Some good growth the other side. Excellent. Very good. Hey. You've got five, five big trees already. Yeah, that's a lovely looking plant. It looks big, but for this variety, that is small. These are gonna grow huge. Very good for the environment, growing, growing bamboo. Yeah.
Uh, if we weren't living on the farm, people would be in here. Definitely. <laughs> Nib. So some of these are about a year old, some are getting on for two years. But considering we didn't put the water pipes and irrigate everywhere, I think it's done very well. At the moment, bamboo in the local market is a hefty 50 baht a kg. Now that's a good size, that is. Look at the girth on that, fellas. That's good. For a young plant, really happy with that. Uh, when the tree gets a lot bigger, or rather when the grass gets a lot bigger, you're looking at sort of like d double the width of that. And uh, probably cut it at about two foot high. So uh, in the dry season, or like now, just coming to end the dry season, 50 baht a kg. And that's boiled up, so you've got the weight of the water in it, and you keep the outer sheaths on. It's uh, it's good money until the heavy rains come, and then it can drop right down to ten bar a kg. Looking really good, nice and dark. I don't know why there's a, another guy, the two guys that are growing this currently. There's a shooter up there, and. Uh, all of theirs are really, really light yellow leaves, but they both irrigate, so I'd have thought ours would have gone yellow and theirs would have been dark green like ours, but I don't know. Maybe it's our uh, poultry poo cocktail. But lovely, we're gonna have to start thinning some of these shoots out. Like Tim was saying, you only want about four or five shoots and Keep them well spread out. That's a lovely one, isn't it? Is that dinner, that one? No, That's probably perfect eating size. Perfect. Yummy. So if you like your bamboo, but you've only got enough room to put one plant in, we recommend this Taiwan giant bamboo and uh, it grows all year round. Oh, hey? Gimju. Gimju. Ginju. Gimju. And. Gimju. Gimju. There's no fibres to get stuck in your teeth. And. Uh, very resistant or resilient to to bugs. Made bamboo soup, pork ribs are perfect. Mm. Mm, this got two or three in one go. That one high, this one about my weight. Oh yeah, well above me that one. Mm, another one here, near my weight. This is lovely to see because when you you're new to farming and your farm's quite young. It takes so long for things to get going. You, first of all, you, you gotta try and keep them alive and then when the roots settle, then they start growing. And they grow slow and then once they get established, then it's, it's incredibly quick now. Uh, we've still got one line here that's really struggling. We put, when did we put these in tune? So these have only been in a few months, and that's what you got to cope with. Yeah, that last year before. They'll get there. So when you first all put them in, you just think, oh my God, how many bloody decades till we can start eating bamboo? Fucking dead. Deed. So that one hasn't, that one hasn't made it. Which is a shame because it did start to root. But we'll leave it there because these areas will get replanted. We'll do a video how to do the cuttings and uh, grow them because they're very, very easy. But they're not. If you buy the plants, you're looking at 40, 50 bar at a time. Uh, but you only need to 
to have one plant in yourself and uh, once it gets fairly mature a couple of years old you can start hacking it to pieces and we did have two of these bamboos back at the village house we, we did it as a bit of a trial and uh, after eight or nine months we were actually cropping it uh, but that had pooey fish water out of our fish ponds uh, about three or four times a week so they had the perfect perfect care out of two I'd definitely give us one Score one star, yeah, sort of. There's a tall, skinny one, we'll just let that one grow out. And then, what you're looking for is to keep oh, my Texican hats getting snagged up, keep a nice bit of gap between all the shoots. If they're uh, starting to touch each other and get a bit cramped, cut them out and eat those. Oh, I want to eat bamboo now. That's excellent. Take another two years to get big, big oh. But we don't have to worry about these anymore now. Now we're coming into the rains. Anything that's still alive, it'll, it'll just rock it. Right, that's it then. Short and sweet today, just like my missus. Happy with you? Your bamboo. Bamboo happy. <laughs> Gin mai? My gin. Just a little bit. Oh go on. Just just one and then we can have it with a chili dip. Alright, I'll go climb on a mountain to find one for you. <laughs> Got bamboo here, but you're gonna go climb a mountain and pick some wild bamboo. You go check out down there. Check what? Right, we're going to head back now and we're just going to have a quick look at some of the wild bamboo that we've got growing and see what state that's in. They're not wild, they well, grow them. Well, we've left them wild. <laughs> the team's just picking up some fallen mangoes. It's the first time this mango tree's ever flowered and fruited. The team's dad put this in many moons ago. They're really good. These are good for making uh, pickle mango with, although we've left them a little bit too long. But, uh, they're good eating anyway. Here's the bamboo that's been here since the start of time and you can see it's pretty much shite. Uh, the reason being when we had this fence built here we used loads and loads of bamboo all from this one bush. So once the rains come uh, wherever you've cut it it just keeps on sprouting so we need to trim all that back but I've had a butchers in there and there's no new shoots coming up yet. Uh, this common Thai bamboo is a little bit behind the drag curve when it comes to, to growth compared to the Taiwan bamboo. But it's good eating. It's, uh, I would say it's a little bit tastier than the, the Taiwan. But if you don't get it early enough, then it goes like wood and you can't eat it. Tastiest bamboo I, I rate is the uh, spiky bamboo. But that is, it's uh, very yeah. dangerous to grow. <laughs> Uh, here last year Toon put a, a stick that had a little bit of root on the end of it from from this bush and she put it in here and it's worked so we just need to thin thin some of those out then you'll have different types of bamboo ready at different times and different tastes it's uh, good <sighs> Okay, that's it for today. Pack yeah. away, that's it for today, as my art teacher used to say. Yeah. Can I shoot mango? Ah. Shoot the mango? Mm. Uh, you just shot the chicken house. And again, okay. I better stop recording because there's going to be a dead guy ban in a minute. I think I should win our uh, next premiere video battle. Go now if you want. No, but you shouldn't be practicing before we have our competition. 
Okay, I don't think England's got anything to worry about. Yeah, place your bets on England now, guys. All right, I keep saying it, but we really are going now. Ta-da for now.